Hey, you might, you might ain't got no drugs on. You ain't got no drugs. <laughs> what it is, squad? What's up? Say hey. Oh, goodness. Again. Y'all, this boy. I hear there's a term for it called Velcro baby. Where they're like just stuck to you. Like no matter what you do. They're just stuck to you. And that's this one. You're a Velcro baby. Good up. <laughs> this one, he's a Velcro baby. But for his daddy. For his daddy. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all get off the bed. Mommy needs to make up the bed. Let me get it. Tonio is going to be very sleepy because he woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and would not go back to sleep. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and just went to the gym. But this one has been up since 5, so he's going to be ready for a nap pretty soon. Ugh. Hey, stop. What you do? You got a crayon in my hair? Where is it? Okay, can we go put the crayons up? Yeah, I think we need to put the crayons up. And I need to make my bed. So get out the bed. Get out the bed. See how hard-headed they are? I tell them to get out the bed and they march around in the bed. Hey, get out my bed. While I'm trying to clean up. Oh, y'all remember this song? It reminds me of a uh, what movie is that? What movie is that? Dang, what's the movie? Put it in the comments. I can't think of the movie. Brothers, Deliver Us from Eva. That's what it is. This song will always remind me of Deliver Us from Eva. Y'all love me some Eric Benet. It must be. Love them, love me. Come on, let's put some clothes on. Y'all so tacky. Got these frosty the snowman pants on with this Mickey Mouse shirt. Who did y'all daddy put y'all clothes on last night? And what you got on? Sesame Street and some Paw Patrol. Come on. He tries to help, but you know. Come on, come put some clothes on. All right, so I'm in the process of doing my makeup because y'all, Deron and I are finally gonna have a date night. It's been tough. Like, it's been tough for us to peel ourselves away from the house. And then like the weather doesn't help. It's still like 30 some degrees, but no, we're gonna go have some fun tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just start with the process because if not, if that sun go down and I don't look like I'm going somewhere, guess what? And so they are eating 
the fruit snacks. Is it good? It's good. You know it's good, boy. Say thank you, mommy. You're welcome, baby. Is it good, Tonto? Tony, I think you losing them in the couch. Yes, you are. So yeah, so we're gonna have a date night finally, and I'm I'm excited for it. We haven't like just hung out in a while. We're gonna go to this restaurant in Fort Worth. I'm celebrating his coach slash co-worker birthday so um it should be fun never been there before especially since we didn't really get a chance to do anything for valentine's day y'all valentine's day was a disaster you done well it wasn't a disaster it just it was very pg <laughs> because we were going to um go to papa Do's with the boys i just wanted to do like something very family-ish on valentine's day and so we tried to go to papa Do's, which is one of my favorite seafood restaurants and the line was so i wish i should have known like duh it's not to be unexpected but we just didn't properly plan the line was out the door so the wait was horrible and um they were hungry so they're like screaming in the car i had just got off work and was frustrated so i was just like let's just get some chicken express and go home <laughs> and that's what we did on valentine's day we got some chicken express and went home and the boys loved it say so it was the best valentine's day we ever had and I just meal prepped, or partially meal prepped. I'm going to put this in my meal prep. This is ground chicken. Ground chicken with taco seasoning. And I usually eat it with spinach. And I don't have a carb with this meal. But it would be good if you like, or having a carb with that meal, to put some rice, spinach, and ground meat. And you can do like a little taco salad type thing. And um, I'll put some avocado in it just for like some fats sometime. Or you can put cheese. Cheese would be good too. We can soup. You want daddy to keep doing it? <laughs> he gets so addicted to stuff so quick. got me this it's all I want like every year um, and he got me a card and we're going to LA that's my gift so, and it's all on him <laughs> my daddy got me these he gets me this every single year like for the past I don't know how many years 20 plus years my daddy has always gotten me a Valentine's Day gift and it's always this because he knows my favorite candy is Reese's. So, and I've already tore into them as you can see. So, I put them up so I can stop eating them. <laughs> oh, and then Duran's V Day gift case of bang. I gave him a bang because it's his favorite energy drink. He like drinks it every day and he shouldn't well i don't know if he drinks it every day but he drinks a lot of them and one time i drank one without his permission it was like the only one he had brought home and so i drank it and he was pretty peeled so i bought him two cases okay tony you can get out of time out come here Why is your shirt wet? 
soaking wet. Your shirt is soaking wet. He had a juice and he kept begging me for it. Kept saying no, because you're not drinking it. But he had some green juice. And I let him have the juice. And he walked off with it. Wasn't paying attention. Comes back around the corner. Shirt soaked. Stefan tried to come in there and tell us, but I didn't know what he was saying. He said Tom Tom did something. We just kind of brushed him off. You got a new? Why are you? What you grabbing? The situated? 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 They're better. There's a cat in our yard. <laughs> what is that? That belongs to our neighbors. Get out of here. Don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> there you go. It scared you? <laughs> Why are y'all trying to scare it? Say hey kitty kitty kitty. Hey kitty. Hey kitty kitty. <laughs> oh, oh you, you scared him away. <laughs> now Stefan, you clearly saw him walk over here. Why did you go over there? Uh, he he went home. Yeah, he went home. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well.
Alright, here's the deal. I just want to hear one letter at a time. That's rehearsed. Ain't that that's rehearsed? <laughs> today and it was saying that more kids are getting sick nowadays because parents are like bathing their kids too much have you heard of that so careful like I know you're not supposed to give babies a bath every day for like skin drying reasons and things like that um but like now so basically the article is saying like it's good to skip a few days um, between baths for kids to like help build up their immune system. It like actually said like to give them a look, help them keep a little grime on them. Now they don't get a bath every day. No, I mean they literally don't do much. But be a great granny papa house. Hey, no, no, no. Now they will get a bath if that particular day. Um, they went to like a public playground or out in public a lot. Um, regardless if they had a bath the day before, I'll still give them a bath. But if they've been in the house all day and they had a bath the day before, <laughs> hey, don't do that. I won't give them a bath the next day. So we bathe every other day. Well, them, I bathe every day. <laughs> don't do that again. That is the most evilest laugh. Wow. Yeah. But, um, I bathe, we bathe every day. Me and Deron bathe every day. Jim or not, you know. I mean, we got a few days where we'd be like, yeah. But, <laughs> we bathe every day. They may not necessarily get a bath every day. But, tell me with y'all, like, do y'all think that kids, toddlers, their age should get a bath every day? And, like, when should you start bathing every day? Because at some point, you got to start bathing every day. So, I don't know. Right now, they get a bath every other day. They're two. And they do nothing. Do you know how exhausting it would be to give them a bath every day, though? Like, for real? <laughs> like, not even lying. Some days, I don't even want to say some days. Every time it's not bath day, I'm, like, so happy. Like, oh Lord. Oh, we can just go home and put y'all pajamas on and I'm gonna get in the bed. I I do dread bad night. Like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Like they got the munchies. What? What are you doing? Antonio. Uh, boy, you better get, get me there before you drop it. Here. It is y'all bedtime. Stop. You got what? What do you have? Why do you have that? Why do you have that? You acting like you starving. You ate at Grand Grand House. That's not too much sugar. You ate three crackers. You had some juice. Oh my gosh, y'all. My favorite movie is coming on. And I need to go to bed so I can go to the gym in the morning. But Five Heartbeats is my absolute favorite movie 
Like, I know every word, every line. Like, don't play with me when it comes to five heartbeats. And it's coming on at nine o'clock. Like, for real? I think it started my love for music when I was a kid. Because the music in the movie is just phenomenal. I love it. The movie itself, the story was great. I loved it ever since I was a little kid. I think I even understood what was going on. You know how some movies you didn't really understand when you were little? And then when you got older, it's like, oh, okay. I understood it as a little kid. Like, I just love the movie. So, anytime it come on, I gotta watch it. It's Black History Month. Like, I can't sit up here and not watch the five heartbeats when it come on. Cookie. Cookie. We're not gonna have no cookie this late at night. Y'all, so they are loving onesies again. And I love that they're loving onesies because it makes them look like a little baby again. So I'm going to get you more onesies. <laughs> they're watching Trolls. It is Tonio's favorite movie. And I usually let them watch it on the weekends. But he seemed to be having such a bad day since being back. So I just wanted to cheer him up, let him watch his favorite movie. And he's been smiling ever since. He was really whining, wanting me to pick him up and hold him. Just like crying for no reason. He wants me to turn the light off. He wants to turn the Am I interrupting your movie night? But... Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, we are running a giveaway. So, on there, you'll see. Thanks. Anyway, on there, you will see a post with me and Duran. And it gives the details on how you can enter the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway so you have to submit your questions go follow me Duran's page Duran underscore Trotter and follow the boys at life with Trotter twins make sure you're following all of our pages like the post and then submit a question because Duran and I are gonna do a Q&A and we're gonna answer all you guys questions now, I know some of y'all probably don't have Instagram, so don't worry. You can still submit a question. I'm going to um, put it in, like, for you guys to still be able to put a question on YouTube. So, make sure y'all tune in to the Q&A so that y'all can hear y'all's questions being asked. And some of the questions so far, like, we can't wait to answer them. Like, they're very fun questions. Um, and even like some of the serious questions, it's like, yeah, we've been needing to talk to y'all about that. So, go submit your question and look forward to talking to you guys. Bye! The boys are reading. Ah, <laughs> Why are coming? Are you reading or <laughs> are they attacking you? Y'all were reading. Me. Hey, you might. You might have no drugs. You ain't got no drugs.